So my background is I studied data analytics um, at Drexel University in Philadelphia. And then as part of a co-op work study program, I worked at Exxon, which is a you know energy company based out of Chicago. I worked out of their Philly division on their innovation and R&D team. Um, and I, for them, I was doing a lot of uh, like market analytics, patent analytics, which is how I got exposure to this market generally. And then eventually came up with the concept that is Cyprus and then, you know, left Exelon and worked through to become where I, you know, I'm at right now. So Cyprus is a, it's a research platform for R and D teams. So in the research and development world, generally there's a lot of, you know, research that is done. So they're, they're constantly trying to answer very pressing questions that are difficult to get answers to um, around things like new product development. So they want to know, you know, who is facing similar challenges that their team is facing today globally, what their strategies are for solving those challenges technically. Um, they want to learn about things like patent landscaping and patent white spacing. So like where can they operate legally in these markets? Um, and there's no currently like a, no a centralized platform for getting answers to those questions. So it's like the equivalent of in the financial markets like Bloomberg Terminal or PitchBook, like they have their financial research software, but R&D doesn't have an equivalent to that, which is what we're trying to build. In our market, there, there's a lot of money spent in to get answers to questions like the ones that we try to solve. And the way that they do that today is and you know, through a lot of different like silo practices. So like one is like they use consultants. So like they'll pay Deloitte, McKinsey, Gartner, you know, a lot of specialized consulting firms, like a lot of money to get answers to these questions. And then another way is the software route where they'll pay for an IP research platform, a research paper platform, uh, you know, like a pitch book or a crunch base. So our goal is to be a central unit for all those um, sources. So from a technical standpoint, it's like filling in the gaps that a lot of those sources may provide that, you know, that would happen if they moved into a platform like ours um, and capture as much expenditure as we can within those teams. So like the more questions we answer, the more money we get, you know, push towards our services. So I met Kyle for the first time in the round before this last round that we closed. Um, I got an introduction from another investor that invested in us. Um, and I learned about you guys and thought, you know, it was really interesting that you couple the advisory work with the investor work. I kind of like Kyle's background, how it's like a sales and revenue focused background because we have a very like sales heavy like, uh, you know, emotion and organization. Um, so when we moved into our, you know, the next round that we did where York participated, um, I obviously wanted to like re-engage with Kyle and um, I just, you know, felt that we were very aligned with how we're thinking about business strategy and sales economics, you know, and sustainable growth. Um, I think that there are a lot of investors out there that kind of prioritize the wrong things at the it may be the benefit of the the uh the, the venture capital group as a whole but not necessarily at the startup level individually um meaning that like a lot of firms they want these like billion dollar exits so they're willing to invest in competing entities and like try to push them to drive top line revenue growth without it being sustainable because like all right if one doesn't work out we have like nine other investments that could work out where it seems like Kyle's strategy is a bit more like sustainable growth, you know, more value in each individual investment versus like sp spreading a bit more thin. 